I like working with young horses. Yeah, young horses and educating them. That's probably the greatest thrill. That's a family thing. Yeah, generations of it. Oh, my father and his brother, they owned horses, and my grandfather owned horses. My sons, Luke and Sean, they got going early in life with horses, yeah. Luke's gone on to win Group 1 races, which you would never have imagined. Sean was probably the gun, uh, but he's gone on to be a top breaker. That's probably been my greatest achievement, Siren those two. Yeah, you don't tell them, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not just a mad dash over 200 metres. You've got to think of the person that's going to buy the horse. You've got to think of them. He's very good at what he does. He can improve a horse. He can educate a horse really well. Call Me Gorgeous is a good example of that. He was a horse at Premier that I remember speaking to the owner and he said to me, Will, this horse is a bit quiet. Can you see if you can rustle up some interest in him? And I remember calling Tal and Tal was like, yeah, I really like that horse. And he bought him for 120,000 and he breezed up in the fastest time that year at Seymour and he went to the sale and he made 550, which was amazing. And Call Me Gorgeous runs up to some pretty sharp trails and wins easily. Yeah, Libertad. Ah, uh, he was, he was a really nice horse. He was a good result for us, actually. Libertad in front from Moravia. Butch Cassidy late, but it's Libertad in the San Domenico. I sort of give him a call on the weekend or on a Monday if one of his graduates has gone and won a good race and you can tell he gets a real good thrill out of it and, you know, you get, it really excites him to see them go on and be good horses. We've got 15 horses going to the ready to race sale. The tops of the draft this year are probably as good as horses as we've had. You know, big strong colts, most of them. Just that I've got really good stride patterns and good attitudes. I really like horses with a good eye. A uh, real soft eye, big soft eye, I like them. He's a big cavalist. He's a beast, isn't he? He's a beast. So tell this one, I remember we spoke to Newgate and um, Henry was pretty keen to stay in the horse with you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So yeah. you're 50-50 you're with, with, with Newgate, with Newgate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is great. Yeah, so you're trying to find a horse that can improve and be blossoming by October, really. By October, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is a Zusane out of another Simple Doubt Mare, out of Classic. Classic, yeah. I think he was a seventy or eighty thousand dollar horse. I thought he was one of the better colts in classic actually. That all too hard is a twenty thousand dollar special out of wow. out of Scone. Well he's uh, gonna grow him a nice knuckle. Yeah, right. Jake Duffy does a lot with these, you know, all the fast work. He has a apprentice to me, he sort of grew up in the system. So it'll be between Jake and Luke who ride them yeah, on day. Yeah. Tell you've obviously just bought this place. Yeah, I did. And that was all that was there. Just this shed? That shed, and it was a mess. We put the walker, the tie-ups, and those tent uh, stalls in over there. It's slowly getting there. Yeah. He's gone out and proven he can educate horses through English, selling through our Breeze Up sales. He's thinking about the long-term racehorse, you know? He's not thinking about how they're breezing up on the day. You try and take horses to the sale to sell, that's my motto. So do you have a bit of time off after the sale? Um, yeah, I'll have a fortnight off. Yeah. <laughs> a fortnight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so your full name is? Vincent Talbot, yeah. And my father's name was Talbot Vincent, so why, I don't know why they bought it. <laughs> Reverse it, they were pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty imagining sort of people. <laughs>